So the link is pretty strong. It's the first time we actually match a genetic link with asymptomatic COVID infection. And the gene we identified, if you do have it, you're twice more likely to not have any symptom for COVID infection. And if you carry two copies of that gene, you are eight times more likely to not have any symptoms after COVID. And how common is it uh, for people to get COVID and have no symptoms? So this gene is very dependent on your ethnicity background. And if you are from European ancestry, it's about 10% of individuals that will carry this gene. And how so it, it is fairly frequent. Apologies for interrupting there, Stephanie. Um, how does this gene work to suppress the COVID symptoms? So this gene is part of the immune system and it presents a small part of the virus. And the small part of the virus that this gene called HLA-B15 is able to present from SARS-CoV-2 is very similar from another part of the spike protein from the seasonal coronaviruses. So during winter, when we catch a cold, mm. the just normal cold, uh, the winter cold, it can be because of one of the seasonal coronaviruses, which are from the same family than the SARS-CoV-2, because they all belong to the coronaviruses family. And they share some similarity from some part of the virus. And what we found is that HLA-B15 gene is able to present this very similar part between the two viruses, and that immune system is able to recognize the two viruses in exactly the same fashion. And what determines, Stephanie, who has this protective gene? Is it pretty random or is there a pattern? It's come from your parents. So you inherit HLA molecule from both your parents. And so it is a bit of a good luck um, that you will carry HLA B15 that will lead to not have any symptom from COVID. And how could this uh, knowledge help those who are vulnerable to COVID or who were very ill when they contract the infection? So for the moment, most of the research on COVID has been focusing on severe COVID to try to apply some global solution for people who are sick. But by understanding people are naturally protected and remain asymptomatic, we hope to find the mechanism behind this to be applied to other individuals that are actually sick with COVID.